the country. Thousands of viewers are interested in a report News 4 broke last week. Senator Barack Obama's Truth Squad. We have new reaction to that story tonight. News 4's John Mills spoke to an outraged McCain supporter and a sheriff expected to join the Truth Squad. He speaks publicly for the first time. John's live at Washington University with this campaign 2008 story. John. Russell, good evening. During this very close presidential campaign, truth squads are common in many states across the country. Tonight here in St. Louis, one side is accusing the other of twisting the truth. Both presidential campaigns have so-called truth squads with law enforcement as members. I'm a Democrat. I support Senator Obama. Jefferson County Sheriff Glenn Boyer says he expects to join Obama's truth squad not to arrest anyone, but to speak out and set the record straight about Obama if he sees any misleading TV ads or incorrect statements. I spent over 20 years of my life in the military uh, defending one's freedoms uh, in America. We have the right to, to politically choose a candidate to make statements about candidates and so forth and so on. I uphold that right. Even when they're elected, they have a higher standard. Republican advocate Ed Martin produces anti-Obama TV ads. He accuses Boyer and other Obama Truth Squad members, prosecutors Jennifer Joyce and Bob McCullough, of overstepping their authority, even illegal intimidation. It's like showing up with your badge and your gun. When things are packaged in a way where you have two of the leading prosecutors in the region, one of the most prominent sheriffs, being pushed out as someone saying, we're going to push back, you, it, it leaves the impression, which is, uh, frankly, I think what the, the, I suspect what the goal was, was to make the point we're going to be aggressive in fighting back the truth. The impression, actually, though, was to people, whoa, I, I, those are people that can really affect my liberty. In a statement, Prosecutor Joyce said, clearly there are those who are attempting to twist the purpose of this initiative for their own benefit. These attacks are a great example of how the truth is distorted in campaigns and what we're trying to stand up against. I didn't see anywhere where any of them stated that they were going to arrest anybody or try to intimidate anybody that infuriates me. For anyone to accuse me of using the power of my office to intimidate somebody politically, that infuriates me. Tonight, the Missouri Republican Party is calling the Obama Truth Squad dirty tricks by Democrats. Here's a quote in a statement. The executive director of the state GOP said the Obama attack on free speech in Missouri already has frightened numerous people who have called our offices to ask if they could get in legal trouble for showing support for Senator McCain and Governor Palin or opposition to Obama Biden. In her statement today, Prosecutor Jennifer Joyce said, my sole purpose in participating in this initiative is about getting truthful information to the voters. This has never been or never will be about prosecuting people. Live at Washington University in U-City, I'm John Mills, News 4. John, thank you. Stay tuned.